What up, Vibers? It's your boy, Kai. And I'm here today to talk about how online therapy has changed the game completely when it comes to mental health. Like, good Lord. We're going to be talking about how it, it's really, really, like, become, like, this thing that, like, I, I don't know if I could, like, live without it. As someone who has personally experienced the benefits of online therapy, I'm like super excited to share with you how it's making professional mental health care more accessible. Let's do this. Let's start with the pros of online therapy, right? Let's start with the pros. Now, one of the most significant benefits is accessibility, right? Online therapy allows you to connect with your therapist from literally anywhere in the world. You can be anywhere. You can be in your kitchen. You can be in your bedroom. You can be in Guatemala, wherever you want. You can access this as long as you have an internet connection, right? You don't have to worry about finding a therapist in your area or, or, or scheduling appointments that uh, that are difficult to do, like with your work schedule, right? You can access therapy from the comfort of your own home or wherever you may be. Another pro of online therapy that I found is the flexibility that it offers, right? You can schedule online appointments around your schedule. You don't have to worry about, you know, commuting or finding parking spots, especially if your therapist is like in the middle of the like, like center city, Philadelphia, right? Where parking is atrocious, right? You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, okay, well, I need to go to therapy at this time. So I need to pick up my son at this time. And like, you don't have to worry about any of that, right? Plus online therapy sessions are often shorter than in-person sessions, believe it or not. So it makes it makes it easier to kind of like work it in with your with your busy life. Now, of course, I would be remiss if I, you know, were to talk about the pros, but not the cons, right? Of course, there are cons when it comes to online therapy, right? One of the biggest drawbacks is the lack of physical presence. When you're talking to a therapist online, you don't get that in-person connection that, that really can make therapy really, really, really impactful, really powerful. Uh, however, uh, many online therapists are, are, are really skilled at building connections with their, uh, with their patients virtually, but that's not really easy to do a lot of times. You know, we went that whole year, 2020, you know, speaking to each other from a distance, you know, through through our Zoom calls and Skypes and, and FaceTimes and all of that. And, and like, it's, there's still, like, you can still make connections, but some, there's something about that physical presence that's a little bit different when it comes to connecting with somebody emotionally, you know? Another con is, and I have this problem, is the potential for distractions, right? When you're home or when you're at home, or even if you're in a public place, it's really easy to get distracted. I have ADHD, so it's super easy for me to get distracted. And like, I'm talking like with your phone, uh, maybe there's something going on in the other room. Maybe there's other people in the area. For me, it's my cats, right? I have my cats. My cats just love to just make guest appearances <laughs> on my therapy sessions. I don't know why, but they just love it. They love to just like come over and try to get my attention. Maybe they maybe they want to go to therapy too. I don't know. My one cat, Hamilton, he's probably the most anxious cat I ever met in my life. So I think I think Hammy, I think Hammy does need therapy, maybe. <laughs> I wanted to also share with you some statistics surrounding uh, you know, uh, online therapy, which I found very interesting. I want to take a look at some of these statistics. Uh, according to a recent survey, the number of people using online therapy has increased by over, wait for it, 1,000% in the last 10 years. 1,000%. That's a massive increase and a sign that people are starting to recognize the benefits of online therapy. If you want, uh, if you want the, the 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 source behind that, I'm going to include that in the description of this podcast. That way, you can go check it out, and you you will know that I'm not BSing you here. Like that is a that is a real stat. Now, one of the things that a lot of people ask me sometimes is like, okay, where do I start? You know, like some people, you know, don't know that there are online resources out there for them to get online therapy. So I want to I want to share with you some 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 options here because there's plenty there's plenty of them uh for you to uh find like a virtual therapist to use uh, you have better help you have talk space you have amwell those are just three of them a quick google search and you could find all that um they all offer online therapy service and you can find therapists that are based on your location based on your insurance right plus some health insurance plans actually cover online therapy so all you have to do is just make sure you can check in with your uh with your insurance provider um, but, but even if you don't have insurance, you can pay out of pocket for a lot of these places too. 
this was a quick Google search and, and you can find what you need there. So, so I, I'm going to include the, the links to those three better help talk space and am well in the description of this podcast. Uh, but, but really go check it out. If you're having trouble finding out like where to start, start there, right? Because those are just kind of like the, 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 the main ones that are out there. There's plenty of other ones though. Right. So in conclusion, listen, Online therapy is changing the game for mental health care, even physical health care. But we're not talking about that right, that one right now. But yeah, even physical health care is getting affected. Uh, what's, what's great about online therapy is that it's making it more accessible and more convenient for, for people of all walks of life. And when we talk about mental health, one of the main things, one of the biggest reasons that I use my platform to talk about mental health is for the strict reason that there is a stigma surrounding it. And I want to do my best to end the stigma. And we can end the stigma by putting out resources for people uh, to get help. We can we can put out ways for people to get help. We can, we can have these conversations so that people feel more comfortable knowing that there are things out there for them, right? It doesn't matter if you make a million dollars a day or if you make one dollar a day. You know, there are resources out there for you that can help you get the mental health care that you need. So if you're considering therapy, don't be afraid to give online therapy a try. I do it myself personally. Uh, I do every other Monday. It is a great, great thing. I love my therapist. You know, we 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 meet up six o'clock every Monday, uh, every other Monday. It's fantastic, and we you know we have that connection there. So hopefully, you can find something like that too. Um, online therapy is not for everybody. You know, some people really do need that in-person experience, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you kind of, you know, kind of have to take it case by case basis. But there are resources out there. So I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, I don't have time. I can't fit it in my schedule. I don't want to hear any of that. <laughs> There are resources out there that are flexible that can work with you no matter what your schedule is, no matter what your budget is, no matter what you feel that you're uh, suffering from, whatever it may be, there are resources out there for you. And uh, and I want to make sure that you get the help that you deserve. So anyway, with that said, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to the Vibe with Kai podcast. I appreciate y'all so much. If you're interested if you really, really like what you're listening to today, if you're like, hey, I want some even more details, I include um, how I personally go about a lot of the things that I'm diagnosed with, right? So from um, uh, ADHD, uh, generalized uh, anxiety disorder, uh, severe depression, I'm diagnosed with all those things. And I go into detail about how I manage those things on a daily basis uh, on my Patreon. So if you go click the link in my bio or my bio, <laughs> the link in this in the just, uh, description of this podcast, uh, go to my Patreon. It's only $1 per month. That's it. $1 per month. And you're going to get access to all of the behind the scenes looks at my mental health and how I go about things. And uh, and hopefully you can get something out of that because I go into pretty pretty intense detail <laughs> about all of that. So with that said, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. As always, much love, good vibes, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.